In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to use the SOAP Bible study method. Here's what you'll need. A notebook, a pen, time, a devotional, and SOAP. <laughs> just kidding. No SOAP is required. SOAP is just an acronym for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. The SOAP method is an easy way to get more out of a single scripture. I'm using the Wake Up to the Word devotion by Joyce Meyer. This devotional is perfect for beginners because it's very straightforward. The Wake Up to the Word devotional is filled with 365 days of powerful words to inspire you daily. It starts with a word, the definition of that word, then there's a passage about that word and a scripture that pertains to it. I love this devotional, but feel free to use whatever works for you. There's a link below if you want to check this out, and I also have a few others listed as well. There's some great free options on the Bible app in addition to this if you aren't interested in buying a physical devotional. I usually pick the scripture at the bottom of my devotion to start my SOAP Bible study. Step 1. Scripture Once you found a scripture for the day, write it down. No copying and pasting. You have to write this down in a notebook. That's the way it will stick by writing it down. Step two is to observe. So read the scripture slowly and reflect on its meaning. Look up any words that you don't understand in order to gain some context. Then take a few minutes to read the chapter or the book that the scripture comes from. Step three, application. Ask yourself one question. How can I apply these learnings to my life? And then write about it. Go into depth about how you can implement something you've learned today from this study and write it out in your journal. Step four, prayer. Write a prayer to God about this scripture and the message that you've gained from it. Ask God to help you apply this lesson to your life. And that's it. So comment below. Have you ever used this method to study your Bible? And if not, what's your favorite way to study the Bible? If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.